Right then, hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. This is the Christmas tag video. I started that introduction very sort of dreary and dismal and depressed, but I didn't mean to. Um, but yeah, so this is the Christmas tag video. I was tagged by Kirsten's Curiosities to do this, so hopefully I'll get this in under 10 minutes or so. So then it's not like a crazy long video or anything like that. So I've got a list of 10 or 11 questions to answer. Um, I will try, if I remember, to put them in the description box down below um, for the next person I tag who I, who I will reveal at the end. Um, so that then they can just copy and paste them into their description and it makes it easier. Because what I've had to do and what Kirsten had to do and what Heather had to do before, before Kirsten is actually write them down while the person doing the video was, was answering the questions. So to make it easier, I'm going to write them in my description so that then everyone else after this after me, who I tag, can just copy and paste them, so it's a lot easier. So that's what I'm going to do. So the person who I tag, look down below in the description, the questions will be there for you. Anyway, without any further ado, we'll get on with it. So, favourite Christmas film? Well, uh, actually, Caroline, Mrs M, who... Did she start the tag? Oh no, no, it wasn't the tag. Caroline, Mrs M did a Vlogmas video, and I watched that, and she said her... Oh yeah, she did... Sorry, she did the questions in the Vlogmas, that's what it is. Sorry, we're getting very mistaken in this video, but um, yeah, she did the questions and she answered this question as The Holiday, which is a film with, I think, Cameron Diaz, Jude Law, Kate Winslet and Jack Black. And it's 2004, if I remember rightly, but I can't quite remember that. Um, I'm much better with music than I am with films and dates and stuff, but I'm okay with films. Um, but yeah, so I really do like that film. It's really romantic, it's quite soppy, but I really, I really do love it. I, I, I love Jack Black, I love him as an actor, I really like Jude Law, and I don't mind Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet, they're quite good actors as well, so uh, yeah, I really do like that film. All of the four of them work quite well, I mean, what basically two of them are in the UK and two of them are in America, they've done like a house swap kind of thing. Um, but both the couples work really well and obviously when the four come together as a quartet they really play off each other really well and the chemistry within the mu uh, movie is really good but I'm not going to give a great big review of the movie um, favourite Christmas song is I believe someone else said this in the tag as well it's uh, Jonah Louie or Joan Louie uh, Don't Stop the Cavalry I really do like that song and I didn't know the name of it for years but I really like that also, I love the Pogues. I think everyone who's done this tag has said the Pogues. Um, I like Wizard. Uh, I think it's every, every day it's Christmas time or some, something like that. I don't know, something like that. I like uh, Shaking Steven, Snow is Falling. I like all the modern kind of ones. I mean, I'm not so... I'm not like a real big classic Christmas hymn kind of guy. I like the modern, more upbeat, you know, sort of dancey ones. But um, yeah, so favourite Christmas song, yeah, I'd say uh, Jonah Louis, Don't Stop the Cavalry, great song. There is also another one. Oh, uh, Don't Let the Bells End, The uh, Darkness. That's awesome, that one. Um, when do we put the tree up? We normally put the tree up on about the 10th, and it's like the weekend of around the 10th. It's got later and later every year as I've grown up and... And, you know, we're not that bothered. There's no other young kids in the family, so we're not really that bothered about decorations anymore. Um, so we put them up quite late on the, on the weekend surrounding the 10th of December. And just out of happy coincidence this year, um, we are putting them up on Sunday the 10th of December, bang on. So, yeah, uh, decorations will go up tomorrow. Today is the 9th. Um, do I peek at gifts or leave as a surprise? As a child, yeah, I think I did peek at gifts. I always nagged my mum, oh, can I open one on Christmas Eve? That used to be the thing. And it kind of turned into a little bit of a tradition at some point for a few years where I think I did open one present on Christmas Eve. I know it's quite a common tradition um, among families, but... Yeah, I did that, but now I'm really not bothered. I mean, this year I'm probably just going to get money, and I think that answers one of the other questions, actually. Um, but yeah, I think this year I'm probably just going to get money. Most years I get money, and then a few other little trinkets and odds and sods, you know, socks or a, sh a shirt or whatever, so uh, to go along with the money. So, it, you know, it's like I'm not bothered about peeking at presents. I already know what I'm getting kind of thing, and I, and I buy myself something as well. Um, so I already I always get my big present or one of the big presents from myself. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's that one. 
Um, do do do. Would you? Who would you kiss under the mistletoe? This was a funny one that I was like, I could really, I could really say some funny things here. But um, no, I, I I have to say, right, I was watching that Baywatch trailer a few. It must have been a few months ago, and oh my god! And I, I know the girls watching will know what I mean. But that Zac Efron, he hasn't half got a bloody admirable body. So I have to say, you know, if he was. If he was in the room, I, I, I would probably give it a go, you know. But um, that that's just a funny one. But um, also, I um, when I was younger, a, a lot of you will be mature adults who know what this thing is. But you have a celebrity F word. A celebrity F word, right? And people, the adults among you will know what I'm talking about. And my celebrity F word um, was Keisha or Kesha. I don't know why, but when I was 14 and the song TikTok came out, I just really liked the look of her. So I really thought she was an attractive girl. So it would probably be her, uh, Zac Efron, probably, I have to say, probably. And, um, oh God, there's, there's too many, there's loads, there's loads. I would. I, there's a lot of celebrities that are very, very good looking um, that I wouldn't mind kissing under the mistletoe, mistletoe. In terms of the people in my own life, I don't think it's really that many, I mean, and I wouldn't disclose who they were anyway, because that'd just be weird if you watch this video, um, but people close to me, I can't really think of it, I mean, I don't have that many friends, to tell you the truth, in real life, I'm just so sad that I have to go through YouTube and have all my friends on YouTube, but is that sad really anymore, I don't know, I mean, maybe it's just the future, how it's gonna be, um, but yeah, so that's that one, um, Christmas traditions, have we any Christmas traditions, we just make a big go of it, all the family, uh, we all go round to certain people's houses on Christmas Day, and we all have the normal traditions. We we kind of do pass the parcel as well. That's kinda, I don't know whether that's a normal Christmas tradition, but um, I don't know. Maybe it is a normal Christmas tradition, but uh, we do that and and things like that and crackers and the usual stuff. We don't really do much on Christmas Eve, although we used to. Uh, my mum and dad used to go round to one of their friends and we'd have Christmas Eve round there or then they'd come here uh, and we'd normally do something like that on Christmas Eve but that tradition's kind of faded out a little bit uh, now but yeah I mean just a standard tradition really, nothing uh, spectacular. What will you be wearing on Christmas Day? Um, I normally like a shirt, you know, a normal shirt, maybe a, maybe a jumper, you know, a nice jumper, I don't know whether I've got one in there but you know a nice little jumper, th thickish one um, and then just jeans, did the normal kind of thing really, um, I don't go all out, I don't wear anything major special or anything, um, I did, I think for a couple of years I did, I went a bit more all out and I think I wore a bow tie one year and stuff, but I, I don't anymore, I can't be bothered, um, what, whoa, what's this, what's Christmas Day like for you, well I kind of already mentioned that and I already mentioned it in my Thursday Talks episode as well that you can go back and watch, I think it was the 100th episode I mentioned that, but as I say, we go around uh, grandparents' houses, or they come round here, and uh, my auntie comes round, or we go around there, and we just have the usual uh, Christmas day, really. We spend most of the day round one of my grandparents, and then we either go to the other grandparents, or, as I say, they all come round here, and, uh, yeah, we just kind of have Christmas lunch, do the uh, presents, you know, do pass the parcel, do the crackers, watch a bit of TV, sometimes play a few little sort of parlour games, I suppose you'd call them, like charades or something like that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. And then watch a, a bit of TV, a few, whatever, whatever special episodes are on at night time for certain TV shows, and that's about it. Um, any Christmas disasters? Well, there's been a lot of arguments, and especially in recent years, we've had more, more and more arguments, like um, a bit more friction developing between members of the family, um, and I think it's just because we kind of, we are around each other, all the family is around each other for like two or three days, like, almost, you know, for hours and hours on end for two or three days, so, because obviously we include Boxing Day in, in, uh, in Christmas Day, and we do pretty much what we do on Christmas Day, we do on Boxing Day, and just replicate it, so... There's a lot of time spent with, with each other and that can sometimes develop a bit of friction and a form of a few arguments and stuff, but we kind of get through it and it's okay in the end, but that's as big as I could say, really. I don't think there's been anything else. Um, what would I like for Crimbo or Christmas? I've, I wrote down Crimbo, so that's why I'm saying Crimbo, um, just because it's shorter to write down. Um, 
yeah, I, I just say money. I want money to buy new technology early next year. I need a new lap. I need a new computer. Sorry, not laptop, uh, which I banged on about so much. Everyone will be sick of hearing. I want a new phone. I'd like an iPhone six or seven or something like. I don't want to go for the ten. I, n I never go for the latest one because they're just too ridiculously priced. So I'll go for the six or the seven, and it might be two, three hundred quid, something like that. But it's better than paying 600 quid for a, for a 10 or whatever they are, probably close to a grand now for the latest one, but uh, yeah, so just money to get those things in January and February uh, around my birthday time, probably, probably get my phone around my birthday time in Feb, uh, and then highlight of 2017, well, reselling related, uh, we'll end it on a reselling related note, it's got to be the 50 charity shops, I mean, uh, that was, really was, you know, it was for my 21st birthday, I absolutely loved it, it was really, really cool, I'm really glad I did that, um, it was something I really wanted to do, it was challenging, it was hard, I don't even know how I did it, it was crazy day, it was a very, very long day, um, and I uploaded and edited the video on the same day as well, on the, on the night time, it was a crazy long day, um, so yeah, but that was got to be the highlight, I absolutely love that, if you haven't seen the video, I'm sure everyone watching this has, but if you haven't seen the video, it's like my second most popular video on this channel, which I knew it would end up being, because um, it's just got one of those titles that encapsulates everything that people want to see in a reselling video, it's exciting, it's different, it's adventurous, and uh, yeah, I'm really pleased that it did so well on the channel as well, in, in video form, so yeah, I'll end it there guys, 11 minutes, so that's not too bad, thank you very much for watching, and before I go, I've got to tag uh, someone in this, so I'm tag tagging the Celtic Traders, so that's Caroline and Phil, I'm not sure whether it's just going to be Caroline doing the video, or whether both of them are going to do it, or maybe it's just going to be Phil, I'm not sure, but uh, I tag uh, the Celtic Traders, so look out in the next day or two for a video over on their channel, and maybe you'll get tagged, I don't know, you know, even if you've not got a YouTube channel, Maybe you need to create one because you might get tagged. So, uh, yeah, um, look out for that video over on their channel in the next couple of days. And I will say goodbye. So, thanks for watching. Give it a like if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one.